Today we're going to discuss gear factor in dilation. This is just a review, so none of the, anything that I'm saying to you today is new. Scale factor. In order for an image to have been dilated, a scale factor was applied. And when we apply a scale factor, that just means that either each line of that image or each point, if it's on a coordinate plane, has been multiplied by the scale factor. Now, if we're being asked to uh, find the scale factor, the opposite of multiplication is division. So the inverse operation of multiplication is division. So that just means we're going backwards and we need to create a division problem. So let's talk about finding the scale factor first. Say I have a image that is on a coordinate plane and I'm being asked which scale factor or what is this scale factor that was applied to create the new image. The first thing that I need to do is look at that image and find a point in its corresponding point. So I'm going to look at the point L and its corresponding point which is L prime. After I choose my point, I now need to find its location. So I'm going to first look at L. When I look at L, I can see the location of L is 2, 6. So that just means I went over 2, went up 6, and that's the order pair or the location for L. Then I'm going to look at L prime, which is my new image. So again, starting at the origin, I'm going to go over. and up. So starting at the origin, I went over and up. When I went over, I went over 3 and I went up 9. When being asked to find a scale factor or what is the scale factor, I know my ratio is new image over old image. Remember no. N over O, meaning new over old. Now I just need to choose either an X value or a Y value. I'm going to choose the X value. So my new X is 3. My old X is 2. I put it in its lowest form, which will be 1 and 1 half, or it could be 1.5. So 1 and 1 half or 1.5. And this makes sense because if my image gets bigger, so if my new image is bigger, then my scale factor has to be bigger than 1. So my scale factor makes sense. So for that example, I use the X values. This time I'm going to use the Y value. So you can see it doesn't matter if you choose X or Y. You just need to be consistent, whichever one it is that you choose. So again, to find the uh, scale factor, it is new over old. So I'm going to choose my new, which is 9, over my old, which is 6. And when I put it in its lowest form, it is 1, or as a mixed number, I'm sorry, it's 1 and 3 over 6, and 3, 6 is 1, 1 half, or 1.5. So as you can tell, it doesn't matter which one we choose, we just need to be consistent.